Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to talk about my current favorite cruelty-free perfumes. So I feel like when you are on your cruelty-free journey, you might be able to find a lipstick really easily that would replace one that was not cruelty-free or a mascara that is cruelty-free, whatever that entails. Perfume, I feel like, is a little bit harder. So I have personally been cruelty-free since about 2018. And my collection of perfumes is very small because I feel like I have trouble finding ones, especially that I really enjoy. So I wanted to let you all know about my favorites, especially because I've been getting super into perfumes lately. But if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Linda and I am a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber and I always wanna help you decide whether or not makeup, skincare, hair care products are worth your money, whether they are drugstore priced or luxury high end, I just want you to spend your money wisely. So if you're into that, please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a part of the Rockstar fam. Let's get right into this list. So I have five perfumes that I wanna to talk to you about today and they are sort of different formulas. Most of them are kind of the eau de parfum, but there is one that is a perfume oil that I wanna talk about. I figure I would take this in categories. So my first category is sort of fresh perfumes. These are ones that maybe are a bit more earthy or flowery or anything like that. And the very first one I wanna discuss, which is a YouTuber favorite is Glossier You. So the notes for this are pink pepper, Ambrox, Amberette, and then it finishes off with a bit of Iris. This perfume, I feel like it's kind of hard to describe though because it smells different on everybody. Overall though, it just smells very fresh, very clean, very light. So I do feel that while this is a year round perfume, this is such a fantastic summer perfume or spring. I just really enjoy this. And again, what I love most about it is how different it smells on everybody. There will be times where I will inhale somebody. I'm like, oh my God, what are you wearing? And they're like, it's glossy AU. And then when I spray it on me, it's completely different. So it does sort of react to your body chemistry like most perfumes do, but this one, it's different in that way, but I've never had anybody say it smelled bad on them. So I just, I really, really love this. Glossier is such a fantastic cruelty-free brand in general, but this perfume in particular is like chef's kiss. By the way, everything I'm talking about is gonna be listed in the description box down below, along with pricing and links if you want to buy it yourself. So everything's gonna be listed right in the description box. The next one that I wanna talk about is from the brand Margot Elena, and this is the Tokyo Milk Light Perfume in And Soul. So they have several perfumes in the light line, but this is my favorite. First of all, isn't that packaging just beautiful? That's why I had to save the box. It has this kind of metallic etching on it of a heart. It's just really beautiful. So then you get the bottle. These are very, very chic looking, very pretty, lovely for your vanity, but that's not why we buy perfume, right? We don't buy it because of the look of the bottle. Okay, maybe sometimes we buy it for the look of the bottle. But for the notes of this, one thing that's nice is they print it right here on the box. So it's oolong tea, bamboo reed, orchid and air. Not sure what air smells like, but okay. And white musk. This is again that clean scent, but it definitely gets a little bit sexier right at the end. So you will have certain notes that will appear heavily, like that musk is the very first thing to appear. And then as it fades off, you just get kind of a nice light floral scent, but it's not too flowery. I can't stand like the smell of roses. <sighs> I hate the smell of roses so much. This is just clean and fresh and light. I mean, it's called Tokyo Milk Light for a reason. It's nice and beautiful. I just, I really enjoy this one. And it's just, it's incredibly fresh smelling. It does smell like tea. So like you just took a big cup of tea and inhaled it. So it's that soothing feeling as well. I, I just, I really enjoy this one. And I don't see many people talking about this brand. They have so many scents. So even if this one doesn't appeal to you, something else in their line might. And I'm just gonna keep inhaling it if you don't mind forgot how good it is. When I get a new perfume, and I'm sure you're all the same way, that you just start obsessively wearing that and then you almost forget about these that are in your collection, I'm going, you know what? No, I'm not gonna spray it on till the end of the video. Till the end of the video, just in case I change my mind. But the Tokyo Milk and Soul is beautiful. For this next one, I'm keeping it sort of in the fresh line, but this is summer in a bottle. <laughs> this is the Sol de Janeiro Sol Cheriosa 62 Eau de Parfum. I just have the little spray canister, so it's really nice. It has a spray at the top instead of a roller ball. This is just 
so beautiful and it is summer. You are on the beach, you have on suntan lotion, maybe you're eating a little ice cream bar that the guy who walks along the beach sold to you. Did that happen at every beach, by the way, or was that just my beaches in New Jersey when I was growing up? They would always come by and it would be like the good humor man. Tangent there, but I think I'm just craving ice cream, okay? Absolutely glorious. But again, this is one that's not heavy at all. So I find that with a lot of my parfums, I can just spray it into the air, go through it once, and I'm done. This one, I feel free to be a little bit more liberal with this one. I'll spray it on each wrist, I'll spray it on my neck, I'll spray it everywhere. And it also wears off slightly quicker than a lot of these. So it's good for a refresh. And that's why I also really like this little spray guy as opposed to the big bottle. Just keep it in your purse and you know what? Just spray everything with this. I have two more I wanna talk about and both of them I would say are just like sex in a bottle. Like, you know, Sex Panther? It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. It's illegal in nine countries. It's kind of like that, except that it doesn't smell like... That smells like pure gasoline. The first one is from a more indie brand that I have loved for decades at this point, and it's Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. A lot of people haven't heard of them, but they are a little small indie company that sells oil. So these are perfume oils. These are not eau de parfum, so you need to be a little more careful with these because Whereas with the Eau de Parfums, they're mixed with different ingredients. They're mixed with maybe alcohols or waters, things like that, things that evaporate. This is just the oil, so it is intense. But this one, this specific one, I cannot speak highly enough about it. This is snake oil. This is their signature scent. This is the one they became known for. It is perfection. I'm gonna read you their description because it's very wordy and they don't like straight up list the top notes. So deep, rich, earthy notes swirled with vegetal musks, sugared vanilla bean, and dark spices. So what you're getting from this, you're getting a lot of that earthy vibe. Maybe the smell of fresh dirt after the rain, but on top of that, you get that sugared vanilla bean and you get those spices. I do also think that this has a hint a hint of patchouli in it. So if you are somebody who despises patchouli, maybe don't go for this, but it smells strongly of clove and vanilla and just everything spicy and delicious. Like this smells like fall and winter. It is so incredibly sexy and deep. And again, one little drop, and this comes not with a dropper really, but it comes with just a little tiny glass wand, if you will, and then I drop that on my wrist. I will do one drop on one wrist, rub them together, and then rub that all over, and you will smell it all day because it goes such a long way. So these bottles seem a little bit expensive for how tiny they are, but when you think about it in the fact that one drop goes such a long way, you will love it. I smell it on my hands now. Oh my God, it sort of smells like when I was 20 and smoking cloves in the goth club and thinking I was a real cool kid. Oh gosh, it smells like nostalgia and wonderfulness. <laughs> but one thing that's really cool about this company is they have so many scents, like hundreds of scents, and they come out with seasonal scents as well. So I would absolutely suggest checking out the whole website. Again, everything's gonna be listed in the description box and you will find something that's good for you. Also, if you're a fan of the smell of pumpkin, they come out with some banging things right around fall time, so make sure you check them out. And finally, if you've been watching my channel at all, you knew this one was coming. This is a recent purchase of mine, but it has become an instant favorite, and that is the Killian Boys Perfume. Oh my God, I cannot sing the praises of this highly enough. So here are your top notes. You have cinnamon, you have cedar wood, and you have cola. So you actually get the smell of a glass of Coca-Cola and it even has a little tiny bit of a lime scent. So picture a glass of Coke with a cinnamon stick in it and a lime and you're drinking this on the beach. Is there anything you can think of that's better than that? This smell is incredibly sexy. It is musky, it is deep, it is beautiful. I think I'd say this is a unisex scent. Absolutely. It's just Oh gosh, so I feel like the first smell you get when you first inhale is that cedar wood. But I've noticed that on me personally, you will smell the cedar wood and then that sort of fades and the last thing you're left with is cola, which might just sound strange, but it is so 
beautiful and it's like delicious and just mm, so good. I believe somebody told me that it's actually like the smell of nutmeg oil. Whatever it is, I want to bathe in this forever. This is the kind of thing that would be like a signature scent for someone. Also, one thing that's really cool, this is sold at Sephora. And I feel like a lot of cruelty-free brands, you have to go to the individual websites to buy them. Like for example, Glossier is only sold at Glossier. That's where you're gonna find it. Um, but this, the Sol, um, Sol de Janeiro one, that is also sold at Sephora. So you can just go right in and get these. And again, a little bit goes a very long way with this one. So you need one spray to last you all day. I have actually been spraying this on some of my clothes in my closet, just like one spritz, just so my clothes smell like that when I get in them already. I'm I'm just, I'm, I'm frankly, I'm obsessed with this one already. I really, really am. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, but I want you to let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite cruelty-free perfume? And tell me the top notes. I love hearing about the top notes or the under notes. Is it under notes? Whatever it is, tell me about all the notes so we can take notes on the notes. But that's it. If you liked this video, I would love if you give it a thumbs up. That really does help out my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. And I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.